Well, good morning. This morning, the scripture found in John chapter 6, beginning of verse 67, and it goes like this. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. You know, back many years ago, I bought a, a, uh, a little uh, calf at the sale barn. Pretty slick looking little calf and brought it home and turned her out with the rest of the calves her size. And boy, I'll tell you what, next thing I know was she's a pushed her way through the fence and was on the other side of that fence. Yeah, and on the other side of that fence was nothing but old Johnson grass and sunflowers. Just weeds, just weeds. And why in the world she got out of that good pasture, I'll never know. But she did. And I'd go bring her back in. And before I knew what happened, she's back over on that other side again. Got to looking real close and near that old bob bar is pretty tight and man, I mean, it was cutting in her hide. It didn't seem to affect her at all. But you know, in our churches, we have similar circumstances going on. Yep. Yep, what I call a yo-yo Christian. They'll go to church and, oh, my goodness, everything is just rosy, 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 rosy. And the next thing you know, they ain't there no more. No, where they at? They're at home, at the lake. They're doing anything except coming to church on Sunday. But when things uh, go bad, go south in their life, well, what do they do? They run back. Oh, my goodness, with the tears in their eyes. Oh, my goodness. You see, Yo-Yo Christian is unstable in all of his ways. That's what the Bible says. And, uh, you know, uh, people are just so offended anymore. Uh, you can look at them wrong. They get offended and they get mad and leave. Yeah. And uh, and then the, the, all everything goes wrong and then they're back at church again. Oh, my goodness. But you see, folks, you can't just keep on jumping that fence. It leaves scars. You jump out of church, it's going to scar you. You'll be scarred. Just showing up for special occasions, Easter and Christmas, and that, that ain't going to work. No. Either you're in the pen or you're out of the pen. Don't be jumping in and out. No siree. Listen here. If you have your good church, the preacher preaches the word of God, and he steps on your toes, he's doing you a favor. Don't you be being offended and leaving. You know you're, you, the sin that you're doing. Don't do that. You hang in there. You ask God for help. Get to reading that Bible. Dust it off. Start reading that Bible. And don't fail to pray. Well, I hope this helps somebody today. Encourages them to stick with it. Don't be no yo-yo Christian. There's too many of them anyhow. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for you and I, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.